I'd like to start by expressing my gratitude to Jackie Lund and Hans Vandermars for sponsoring my nomination and to the Shape America Awards Committee for my selection. Never in my wildest professional dreams did I imagine winning the Luther Halsey Ruler Medal and be added to a list of past winners that includes too many prominent names in our profession's history to mention here. Right now, I feel like an interloper in that company, but I think that will change once this sinks in over time. My apologies if the rest of this sounds like an Academy Award acceptance speech, but in many ways, it is like that, in the category of career achievement. Instead of an Oscar, I have the incredible honor of accepting a Luther. So here goes. There is an old saying that it takes a village to raise a child. Likewise, it took a village to raise, support, mentor, intellectually challenge, and sometimes just tolerate a teacher's traveler like myself who would become a Rulich Medal winner. I was reminded of that truth two evenings ago when my wife Terry and I joined Hans and his wife Joanne for a Zoom happy hour for what I thought was a plan, was to plan a possible meeting in Arizona this October. Hans and Joanne have prepared margaritas on their end. Being in Georgia, Terry and I made Lysol and tonics as our libations. It'll come to you. A few minutes into the meeting, others started to join us. At first I thought we were being Zoom bombed, but in this case, I knew these intruders. Turns out that Hans was in cahoots with Terry to have a celebration of my Ruler Medal Award, and we were soon in the virtual company of over 50 others from across the country and Ireland. I learned later that others had tried to join but had technical problems, and that many others had been invited but could not attend. There were too many villagers on the screen to mention everyone there by name but I would like to highlight two of them. Paul Doves was my master's advisor at East Strasburg University, and he got me started in Pete. The Ocean Top, of course, was my doctoral advisor at The Ohio State University, and who gave me a pedagogical knowledge base and a set of research skills that lasted throughout my career and still serve me today in my post-retirement work in the GSU Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning. So, what other kind of villagers were on that screen? There were some from a generation prior to mine, who in many ways can be credited with establishing Pete as a true academic discipline. Five of them were Rulich medalists themselves, and I would predict that another handful will be future winners. Some were former colleagues and department chairs at Georgia State and some were former graduate students, now early in their own peak careers. Just remember, I've taught you everything you know, but not everything I know. But my relationship with these fellow villagers goes beyond that of being professional colleagues. I am proud to call all of them friend, and every one of them can rightfully claim a part of my Luther. For one special, one very special villager, it goes well beyond even that. With Terry, I have won a trifecta of sorts since we met in 1994. We worked for many years as Pete Hollies, and she is now my best friend and my life partner. During my 11, year, 11 years of what I call cancer world, she has been my primary caregiver and oftentimes my nurse. People will sometimes say, I would not be here without uh, another person. I can say that literally. I would not be alive today without Terry, who can rightfully claim a large part of my Luther for herself. Early in my career, I made a promise that I would never self-validate any of my professional work. Sure, much of what I did was important and meaningful to me, but I would put it out there and let others be the true judges of its value. Receiving the 2020 Luther Halsey Rulich Medal 
has provided that pure validation above and beyond anything I should ever have expected. I am truly humbled by this award and the responses to Hans and Terry's call to join the virtual celebration two evenings ago. Please, all of you out there, be safe, make good decisions for yourselves and others, and I look forward to seeing many of you in Baltimore next year to express my gratitude in person and hopefully with hubs and handshakes.